I'm Michelle Broderick, and I came here in an Uber, which is pretty awesome. But before that, I worked at a site called Yelp. And uh, the name of my talk is Marketers Love Designers. And the reason being is that if us marketers were the only ones actually putting anything out there, we just say buy our stuff. Nobody would listen to us, and the entire economy would collapse. So we need you guys. And this talk is going to be about how we turn basically what is a boring direct mail piece into something pretty awesome and pretty iconic out there right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the People Love Us on Yelp stickers out in the window. So to start this off, since I'm not a designer, I'm going to use some really offensive clip art to show what we were going up against. So we didn't know how we were going to get noticed in windows like this. All we knew is we wanted to have a presence in the restaurant's window. And this is what a lot of the restaurant's windows looked like. So our designer, Michael Ernst, who is phenomenally talented, came up with this idea of just sticking it in our own window at Yelp. So he just put them up in the window. It didn't say anything to anybody. And as we were coming to work, he just asked us, did you notice anything in the window? We're like, no. <laughs> or yeah, I remember one. I don't remember the one that said the tiny best of. I don't know why I would want to find anything there. Or we'd be like, we noticed red circles. And the one, though, that came up over and over and over again that people noticed was the one you see all the time, the People Love Us and Yelp sticker. So um, that's great. We had a good sticker. People were going to notice it. But we needed to figure out a way to get the restaurants to actually put it up in their window. So we sent them a letter. And you know, it looked like a letter. There was nothing super exciting about it, nothing bad about it. It just looked like a great letter. But when we were walking around the city, we were noticing that people were actually putting this letter up in their window. <laughs> we were like, what? Why? And then more offensive things started happening. And I would just like to make it really clear. <laughs> Michael didn't design this. This was not designed by Michael. The shawarma king designed this. So we didn't know why people were putting things like this up in the window. And I went out and was asking restaurateurs, why are you doing this? And my favorite answer was, those stickers are really valuable. Somebody might steal my sticker. OK, <laughs> we'll give you more stickers if you earn them, but OK. So we were looking at that, and we figured we could solve this with design. If people want to put stickers up in their window, if they want to put the letter up in their window, why don't we design something that looks like it should go up in their window? So we designed a certificate. This looks a lot better in somebody's window. If they want to put it up, great. If they don't, no big deal at all. So at this point, we're pretty stoked. We're like, people are putting it up in the window. People are noticing it. The campaign is good. The campaign is done. Done my work here. Take a bow. Well, then we saw this. Yes. So we were really excited about this, actually, because imitation, as we all know, is the sincerest form of flattery. So we realized that we did something really awesome. And we were pretty excited about it. And if imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, this next one is my favorite, because parody, oops, where'd it go? Parody is the uber form of sincerity. Like, people hate us on Yelp. Like, we're getting made fun of now. So through imitation, through parody, we knew we had done something really great. And that's my story of why us marketers need you designers. And we all have jobs open for you guys. So feel free to talk to me as well afterwards. Thank you very much.